So for the Raging Bull Pack, this man paid almost $1,600. $1,565, $85 to be exact. Both pairs sitting on StockX right now, ten and a half, eight hundred and seventy dollars, eight hundred and seventy bucks right now on StockX. You literally could have saved half. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFY. It's Joe back out of here again today with another dope video. But before we get started, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. So I decided to do a giveaway. We got one, two, three boxes up. That's right. There's gonna be three winners. All you need to do: subscribe to the channel, follow KFYS on Instagram. Facebook and on Snapchat. Links will be down below in the description. Also follow me personally, KFY is Joe at Instagram. But the most important thing, you gotta be a subscriber. Once you guys are completed with that, make sure you guys comment down below in the video. Travis Reese's, that way I know you guys entered. Alright guys, so I know we all watch Complex the Sneaker Shop and recently Offset was on the show. I think he bought from Flight Club. Like 31000 worth of stuff. Every single time I watch these sneaker shopping shows, Flight Club is taxes. Stop it. It is not necessary. Now, personally, I have not watched Offset's video yet, which is what I'm about to do right now. Play a Flight Club with multi -class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare his price that he paid at Flight Club compared to the prices on StockX. In his size, 10 and a half, which took me a while to find out that he actually wears a 10 and a half. But anyway, I have not watched the video yet. I'm about to watch it right now. Let's get it going. Offset. Yes, sir. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Let's see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it up. I got a lot of it already, though. Shoes, and your cash total comes out to 31,000. 27 shoes. And 31,000 and change. Alright, let's start with these Slam City 10 Nike SB Dunk Low. $1,204.50. Let me check, let me check StockX. And a 10 and a half on StockX. The lowest ask, which everybody knows no one goes to the lowest ask, but anyway, lowest ask is 1035 This man paid $1,200, so that's not too bad. But last sale was $550, $550 for those. Bro, you could have saved $700. You're tripping. Next shoe. Huff X Nike Dunk High Pro. What's up with these? Nike Dunks. I should watch this video for real. All right, so I couldn't find it. Sorry, guys. We're going to the next shoe. But he paid sixteen forty-two fifty for him. Anyway, next shoe. Hold on. I do know these Ferris Bueller's. Give me a sec. I think they run for like five something, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So in a ten and a half, he paid eight twenty-one twenty-five for them Ferris Bueller SBs. Last pair sold in a ten and a half for four hundred and twenty-five bucks. Lowest ask is six fifty, so I guess it's not too too off. So it's not that bad actually. Surprisingly, it's not that bad. Okay. For the taxis twelves that came out with the eleven breads, he paid thirteen sixty eight seventy five. Hold on, bro. Am I tripping? He paid thirteen sixty eight seventy five. You can get them on StockX right now in a ten and a half for six hundred seventy five bucks for both. Bro, you're tripping. You could have saved some serious money. You could literally save over half. You could have saved like seven hundred bucks. Stupid. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know this. This is a Jordan One beginning moments pack. I don't know. Let's look it up. Here we go. He paid seven seventy. One ninety-eight for the one beginning moments pack. Stock X right now for just a single pair. Three twenty, three twenty on Stock X, bro. You could have saved some dough. Three twenty. That's a difference. Right? I'll put a difference on each one somewhere. That's insane. You could have saved some money, my friend. All right. So the green hemp, sixteen forty-two fifty. Don't know the price on these yet. I'm super curious on them, but we're about to find out right now. Green hemp. I know these shoes, but I don't know what they go for. Here they are, ten and a half. Eleven. Buy lowest ass stock X size ten and a half. Eleven hundred dollars. Highest bid a G. Bro, you could have saved like six hundred and fifty bucks. You paid sixteen forty two for them, my friend, and fifty cents. Okay. Bro, actually that's not that bad. So for the Jordan 6 Pistons, he paid 383. 
on StockX right now in a size 10 and a half, 275 for a 10 and a half, lowest ask. So about a hundred bucks, that's not bad to get them right there in store. Now listen, for all you are gonna chew me up saying, oh, StockX sometimes has fakes, StockX just did compromise their website, they did all your information got taken, you know what? You're saving a ton of money. For all those people that are just hating right now. Listen, I'm just trying to save this man some money. Money. I know he don't need to save that money. Save that money. All right, for the Jordan 1 Gucci's, this man paid $870. You tripping. Hold on. Hold on. For the Gucci Air Jordan 1's, this man paid $870.53. Last one sold for $475. Lowest ask is 2 G's though. So I guess if you're looking to get something... ASAP right there and then he did get a pretty decent price on that regardless last one's over 475 475 all right next shoe all right Jordan 7 J2K the obsidians he paid 985.50 for a 10 and a half well I'm out man I'm tripping last pair sold 699 that's $265 more than the previous sale in size 10 and a half. Yes, Lois asks is a G, but no one's going to pay that money unless you're offset at Flight Club. So for the Jordan Infrared Pack 6s, he paid $1,073.10. You can get it on StockX right now for $425 for the 2-pack. Buy it now. That's insane. Yeah, that's almost a $600 loss. Be smart with your money. Nike Air Force Low Premium. To be honest, I don't know what to search for these. I'm going to see if they even have them on here. I don't know what these are. We're about to find out. I don't know what those are. Someone in the Air Forces inform me what these are. Comment down below as well. Okay, for the Goofy Boys. The SB Dunk Lows. $547.50. Alright, so there's no one that has it for sale right now on StockX itself. But last sale was 251 bucks. Highest bid is 280. So I guess if you can't get them on here, you can go on GOAT, try to find them on there too. But anyway, this video is just about StockX comparing with Flight Club. So at that point, we'll let him slide. He got that one. He, he, he made a good purchase on that one. So five purples ain't even listed on StockX. So for the 14s. So the 5s and the 14s, both not listed on StockX, so we're going to skip and go to the next one. So for the Raging Bull Pack, this man paid almost $1,600. $1,565, $85 to be exact. Alright, so for the Raging Bulls Pack, this man paid $1,565. Both pairs sitting on StockX right now, $10.5. $870. $870. Right now on StockX. You literally could have saved half. Next shoe. Air Jordan 7 Miro. $1341.37 is what this man paid. StockX right now. You can get these for $1,400 is what the lowest ask is. Last sale $950. Highest bid $705. I, we give it, give that to him too. That wasn't too bad. So I mean, if you could buy now fourteen hundred, you see, save a little bit of money. All right, he did. You got me on that one. Next shoe. Okay, for for the fourteen dark cinders, three oh one twelve, StockX going for four fifty. So that was actually a good purchase. Last sale was three twenty five. So not so bad. He actually got it cheaper than what StockX would have gave it to him for. For the grapes, three fifty-five. Get out of here, bro. No one's gonna charge you three hundred and sixty dollars for some Jordan Five grapes. There we go. I guarantee you, it's gotta be like somewhere around like two fifteen, maybe. We're gonna find out. Size ten and a half. Lowest ask two twenty-nine. Last sale two hundred bucks. Highest bid one eighty-five. So obviously, you can see so far, Flight Club is taxing. Next shoe. All right, Air Jordan Ten Steel three twenty-three oh three. To be honest, I don't know if that's a good price or not. We're about to find out though. Uh, 250 lowest ask, highest bid 205, last sale 230. So still buy roughly a little, just under a hundred dollars of uh what StockX is asking. So that's not so bad. 
Um, next shoe, Shadow One, 54750. Damn, from 2009? Is that correct? 54750? I know it's an older retro, but. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, 10.5, 340, Stock X. Last sale, 285. Next. <laughs> Air Jordan 20 countdown pack. Why would he buy this? I mean, that, that's like a wannabe Yeet 750 right there. That's some Billie Eilish type shoe. Anyway, they charge him $219 for that. You can buy it right now on StockX for $189 in the size 10 and a half. So it's not that much, but last sale was $110. Bucks. Highest bid, $97. Next, Huff Nike Air Force One. Let's figure that one out. Not listed on StockX. Next. Jordan 7 J2K. To be honest, I'm not familiar with this shoe, so we're going to find out. But he paid $848.63. That's what he paid at Flight Club in LA. Stock X. Lowest ask, $1,500. Size 10 and a half. Highest bid, $200. Last sale, $677. So I guess it wasn't such a bad deal. Next shoe. Air Jordan 4 Dornbecker. He paid $1,642. I know this shoe very well. It goes right around the $1,500 mark. But let's look it up and see what it is on Stock X right now. Size 10 and a half, lowest ask 1525, last sale 1450. Highest bid, list under 1100 bucks. So, that wasn't such a bad deal. Great shoe, by the way. That shoe I will own one day. Not today, but one day. Ooh! Air Jordan 4, Georgetown PE. I have no idea what that shoe goes for, but any PE is a lot of money. He paid $7,659.21. Let's see if that's even listed on StockX. We're going to find out. Okay, so at the moment, it's size 10 and a half. There is no Jordan 4 PE Georgetown listed, but a size 10 is going for 13 k Highest bid is $3,900. So. I guess you can say it was a good purchase. Would I ever purchase that much money on a shoe? Absolutely not. I will never spend a penny under over a G. That's probably my maximum. Next. All right, Ray Allen, 13 PEs. He paid 26.28 on the dot. So let's see what that's worth now. All right, so it's size 10 and a half, $1,500. Highest bid. $1,309, last sale, just over a G, $1,001. You could have saved some money on that one, my friend. That's a $1,000 difference on them 13 PEs. Next, oh, there it is. Grand total, $31,333? Oh, 12. $31,333. And 12 cents. This is how much money you could have saved, my friend. That was the difference. I didn't include the shoes that he purchased that weren't on StockX. That's whatever I could find that was available on StockX. That is how much he could have saved right there. Now, StockX is no way, shape, or form paying me for this video. I did this video because I wanted to compare myself how much of a difference Flight Club's pricing is compared to what the average user will use to get their shoes. Do not forget, we are doing giveaway on these boxes. I'm doing three. I don't know, should I give away four? I don't know, should I give away five? I don't know, we'll see. Depends on how well this video turns out. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, like all of our social media down below, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, MySpace, everything. Make sure you guys add it all. Add me personally on social media at KFYS Joe on Instagram. I'm that dude on nine on Snapchat. I'll leave it over here somewhere. Make sure you guys check out that last video we did. Me and my girl actually went on a sneaker road trip all the way throughout the East Coast. We actually hit up Flight Club. We hit up Stadium Goods. We hit up Herman Necessities. We hit up Around Two in Virginia. So make sure you guys check that out. I'll put the link right over here. Subscribe to the channel right over here. I'm KFYS Joe. Peace.